welcome to Curriculum Night. We are so glad you're here. My name is Mrs. Ogden. And I'm Mrs. Kaber. And we're the kindergarten team at CCLS. All right. My name is Mrs. Kaber. Like I said, I have a master's in literacy and I'm a reading specialist. My bachelor's is in elementary ed and early childhood from Concordia, Nebraska. I live in Oakville. I'm married to Tom and I have two children, Lexi and Brayden. I love to garden. I love to craft and read. And my name is Katie Ogden. Uh, I have a master's in educational technology. My bachelor's is in elementary education and early childhood. I completed my colloquy in 2012 and I live in Creve Corps with my husband, Jeff, and my three children, Jack, Wyatt, and Cameron. I love to travel, read, and I love to watch movies. And you can see there is a picture of our assistants. Miss Lynn is Mrs. Caber's assistant and Miss Erica will be working in my class. So we went through some goals uh, for our kindergarten classes and we broke it down to social goals and educational goals. So some of the social goals that we thought were the most important were work together as children of God, following directions, taking turns and sharing, using good manners, using the materials the correct way, staying in their seat, having a positive attitude, cleaning up, keeping their hands to themselves and participating in group activities. Some of the educational goals that we have listed, we wanna make sure that the students are able to identify their letters and their sounds, forming their capital and lowercase letters correctly. So a lot of times the children will say, but I already know how to write my name, but we wanna make sure that they are forming them correctly, top to bottom, left to right. We wanna make sure that they're able to solve addition and subtraction problems and to be able to write to communicate their ideas. So getting a picture that matches their words. We want them to make sure that they understand their concepts of print, know and use their sight words correctly, and be able to use their decoding skills. So literacy is a big portion of kindergarten. We have lots of different pieces that we put together. We use the being a reader, which focuses on parts of a story and learning how to listen to a story and understanding. We, um, making meaning is where we take vocabulary words from our books that we use. It looks like this. Mm -hmm. And then we wanna make sure that the students are able to make connections from the story in their everyday lives. Our phonics portion is our Fontas and Pinnell. So that's our word study, our spelling, and our phonics. And we learn how to decode things. Um, every week we will have a poem of the week. And so this will um, work with our letter recognition, our rhyming words, listening for our letter sounds, and then sight words inside of our poems. And we have a poetry binder or a folder that will collect all of our poems. And with that, they will also have an, a little emergent reader that they work on in the class. So they're able to read these with their small groups and then take them home at the end of the week. And you can read them as a family. Um, our writing portion, we use Lucy Calkins, the writer's workshop. And so each week we'll have, you know, some journal ideas or topics that the students will able to write in their little journal. So there's a little space and we work a lot with the students on making sure that our picture matches our story. So if they're writing about dogs, we don't want pictures of cats. So just making sure that they're learning those skills along with, we start with a capital letter, um, listening for sounds in a word and putting it together. If they write just one letter for a word, that's okay. They will progress to where they're able to hear more sounds in the words and, and um, write um, by the end of the year. So then uh, we also have our mystery letter bags that we use every week. Um, it's connecting our letters and sounds with our everyday life. So your child might receive a mystery letter bag, which will have a little letter attached to it. And some, day, some weeks we'll focus on two letters, others will have three. But if you get that bag, 
just have your student look for something at home um, with that letter and letter sound, put it in the bag, and then make sure it comes right back to school, and then they can share that with the class. They'll have three clues that they'll share, and then they'll um, show everybody what's inside of their bag. So it's a lot of fun for them. Um, we use our handwriting without tears curriculum, so they'll have a little workbook that like we'll this. work on each week. There's interactive tools that we use on the screens. We have little slate boards with the wet, dry, try. We have Map Man. We have lots of songs that we sing and lots of online resources. Okay, the next um, curriculum topic we're going to talk about is math. We use Saxon Mathematics. And there is a couple different um, times of the day that we use these skills. So the first one is a math meeting. Now, math meeting, we don't call it a math meeting. We just call it calendar time. So that is a time where a, the whole group will get together. We talk about the dates. We talk about numbers. We talk about patterns. We, we do counting. Uh, we talk about the weather. We use all of these math and life skills during that time. Uh, the second time is fact practice, and that is a time where children um, master number facts, and this is done through games, activities, and math centers. We both do math and literacy centers every day, and so that is a time where we can really work on those skills that we're learning in math and reinforce it during center time. Um, the third time is new, uh, with new concepts, and that is a time that we teach with whole group, and there's discussion, there's hands-on activities. A lot of times your kids might tell you about using pattern blocks or teddy bear counters or um, linking cubes. There's lots of uh, hands-on manipulatives that we use in our classroom. And then last is the written practice, and that is a worksheet that we will be using just to kind of assess um, the skill that was taught to make sure your child learned what was supposed to be learned and you will see those worksheets come home um, in their folders and that is just a way that we can uh, continue practicing that skill all right our curriculum curriculum that we use for science is FOSS this curriculum is split into three sections and we'll focus on science skills by integrating science notebooks so those notebooks that you purchased and brought to school your student will be using those the personal um, ones. Yep. Um, we'll have science-centered language, observing outdoors, and then using technology for a portion of it. Um, we'll have a wide range of experiences as the kids will build um, an understanding of science. And they're actively engaged and they have ownership of their learning inside their little groups. Our units that we'll be working on is trees and weather, materials in motion, and animals two by two. Next, we'll talk about social studies. So the curriculum that we use is Scott Forsman, here we go. And this um, curriculum provides a rich, comprehensive content through history lessons, geography lessons, economics, citizenship. And as you can see on the right side of the screen, there are six units that we cover. Right now, we're currently doing who we are. So we talk a lot about families and community. We talk about where families live, what families do to work together, how families communicate, um, and then we will go on to communities. We will talk about work, our earth, the USA, and family stories. So also it has a direct reading and writing instruction. Um, the curriculum develops students' oral language, reading, writing, listening, and speaking skills. And another thing that we do is a scholastic reader. Now we do uh, the magazine about once a week, maybe once every two weeks, depending on um, what this curriculum has with Scott Forsman. But it's basically just another way that we can get the students to talk about socializing, how to behave, citizenship, and learning those um, social studies skills. All right, and we also have specials or the arts. We have music with Miss Bongard on Thursdays for 30 minutes. We have art with Miss Gillespie on Thursdays for 30 minutes, and then PE Tuesdays and Wednesdays, and that's 20 minutes a day. And the, the children are asked to wear their tennis shoes on those days. That way they can move actively without any, um, any problems. Spanish, I have them, um, Miss Adler on Fridays, and Miss Ogden has um, Spanish on Wednesdays for 30 minutes. We will start using the library with Miss Sullivan right after Labor Day. So the children will be able to go check out books with her twice, um, two books a week 
Um, so make sure that your child brings them back every Tuesday. That way they can keep getting two books every week. Now, if they forget, say, a book at home, they're able to get a book. But please make sure you bring them back. That way other children can enjoy those books that she has. And um, we also, obviously, being a Christian school, one of the most important and awesome things that we get to do every single day is teach these children about Jesus. So we have a curriculum called One in Christ, where we really focus on Jesus's love and Bible stories and moral lessons taught through those Bible stories. So you can see on the left side, all of the different units that we have, and those are taught using this workbook. There will be ones in a bunch of different colors. This one is God Loves People. So each week there will be a story that we focus on um, from a part of the Bible and then activities that go along with that. Now that might be um, whole group activities, sticker activities, songs. There's lots of ways that we teach children about Jesus. And that also just goes into praying every day, praying before lunch, talking about our fears and anxieties, praying to God and really just talking to him. Also, we do character formation, and this is something that all of CCLS does from kindergarten through eighth grade, and we focus on seven um, character virtues. So you can see it on the right-hand side, justice, integrity, diligence, responsibility, respect, self-sacrifice, and courage. And all of the lessons from K through eighth grade are all the same. Obviously, Mrs. Caber and I would teach the kindergartners something a little bit different than an eighth grade teacher would but you can know the whole school is learning something at the same time and then those character uh, virtues are being taught and that's just something really unique and special that our school provides you can see um, right here is mrs caber's information both mrs caber and i both uh, we use seesaw for communication and there was a um, student code sent home to everybody. Mm -hmm. And this is just an awesome way that we get to send pictures, videos, um, newsletters, just communication in general. It's a really awesome way that you can just have it on your phone and things can pop up and you can see what we're doing during the day. And our email and phone numbers were both on there as well. So we just wanna thank you so much for um, watching our curriculum night video. If you have any further questions, you can email, call either of us. Mm -hmm. um, we can set up a meeting to meet with you, but just know that we are very excited that your families are at CCLS and we really love and adore your children. And we are looking forward to having an amazing year. All right, thanks for your partnership and education. And I can't wait to see what the year has in store for us. Thank you.